Bailey with the Courier Journal. We're here today at Le Chasse, uh with Chef Alex Delaney, and we're doing something with quail, right? Yes. All right, so what are we making? Uh, we're going to do a drambuie quail over the grill. It's great. It's just like chicken wings, a little appetizer. All right, so where do we start? So we're going to start by heating our pan up. You don't want it exactly smoking hot, but you want it on a nice medium heat. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to drop our ginger in, and we're going to try to infuse our oil a little bit. Um, we're just using like a basic canola um, and maybe a little olive oil mixed in. You don't want to brown the ginger because that'll actually create a little bit of uh, bitter flavors. Okay. So you just want to kind of wait till the ginger starts to almost get ready to go translucent on you. The smells already kind of coming loose, so you can go ahead and add that. That is our uh, green onions. Most of the time we cook with green onions, we keep them real fresh, different level of flavor. So now we just go ahead and throw our ancho chilies in there. So as you can see, now things are starting to change color again and fall apart. As we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and add our drambuie and sherry. This is a half cup of sherry and drambuie. Now be careful when you do this because you may get a little ignition. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Always keep your pan moving when you have something lit. So you may wanna use a longer pair of tongs when doing it. Um, yeah, just to be safe. But that way it keeps your product from burning. Okay. So once your flames start to come down, it takes a couple minutes, but again, keep everything moving. But once they go down, go ahead and add your pears. And we want to get them to cook down a little bit. And we can go ahead and add our game stock. This is a stock I made from a goose I roasted the other day for, and uh, it was brined in Guinness. So it's quite delicious. And now we're just going to kind of bring that up to temperature. Oil is, adds a way of conveying um, heat to your product. When you just do dry air, it's not going to yeah. convey the uh, thermal to the meat as well. So you always want to make sure they're oiled up real nice. So you just want to put them breast side down when you're doing it. And you're wanting to probably do two to four minutes on each side. What we're doing here is we're going ahead and put this bowl over the top of it. And it's just like capping your grill at home. It's going to keep the heat in there. It's going to keep the smoke on the quail. So, all right, we got a nice little brown skin. The juices are running nice and clear on them. So now what we're going to do to really make this perfect, we're going to cut them open, just check, make sure the coloration is good on the inside. Yeah. You can have a little pink on the inside, but not much. So we're just going to go straight down the center plate. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to cut the little legs off. All right, so now we got all our quail. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just toss these bad boys into the sauce real quick. Since this is just an appetizer, all you wanna do is just kinda of set these up, make them look real pretty. So we're gonna finish this with almonds. I'm using Marcona. If you can't find Marcona, you can just use standard almonds. Marconas are really nice Spanish olives that are very fatty, oily, and just incredibly great. It's really good though. Don't want to wait to eat little birds. <laughs> Oh, cheers to that. <laughs> cheers. Salute. That's the spirit. <laughs>